Okay, so the time now is actually 20 past six in the evening. Amber has gone out for work, left me here by myself. It's gonna be a slightly different video today. Anyway, it's time for me to go to the gym and this video will get started when I get back. Okay, back here again, just like yesterday, sat on the sofa. Slightly different video to normal. First of all, actually, I do wanna show you. Me and Amber bought a new lamp. How cool is that? Love it. Anyway, back to what I wanted to talk about. So, if you remember, a few videos back, I said this. And so I thought it was the perfect time for me to do a video on my advice for someone who wanted to start daily vlogging. It's been a little over two weeks since I started, so I thought I could share with you some of my experiences and some of the struggles that I've been through. And some of the things that I've learned to make it a little bit easier. First of all, I wanna talk about why I started daily vlogging. So my mission initially was to create a fitness channel to earn money online and give myself the freedom and escape the nine to five. And that was difficult for me uh, because fitness wasn't my uh, main source of income and I was new to the industry to be honest. I'd been doing a lot of fitness myself uh, and working on my own physique but actually working with clients was new to me so it was very difficult in order to come up with new titles um, and really offer great advice consistently on something that was new to me. And then I started seeing people that were vlogging. And for me, vlogging seemed amazing and that you could share your life in an honest and open way and people could find it entertaining and useful. So for those of you that have been following my channel from the beginning will know that I just did fitness on this channel initially. And you know, I enjoyed it to start off with, but then I found it tough and I felt like I wasn't showing enough of, of me. I was only given like 10% of myself and therefore I didn't feel like I was committing 100% into this. So hence why I changed to doing the daily vlogs. Why did I feel the need to do daily vlogs and not just do videos more consistent and about things other than fitness? I felt like I just needed to commit 100%. I needed to go straight in. The more I do something, the better I'm gonna be at it. That was my thinking, that is still my thinking. I know that my videos have still got a long way to go before they're up to the standard of, you know, these professionals, should we call them. But the only way I'm gonna get there, I think, is by being consistent and continuing to, to create content. Anyway, enough about me. What have I learned to help make better videos and to speed up the process? So one of the most important things, I think, and something I need to get much better at, is creating a formula. You need to have some sort of plan in order to make the video. So you need to have sort of a start, middle and end to each of your videos. Make sure you know what you're gonna talk about, what the video is gonna be about, and try and create some sort of story. Again, something I need to improve on massively, but I can see from other people's content exactly what they're trying to do. So from the research that I've done, here's what I think is the recipe for making a good vlog, which hopefully I'm gonna be able to implement in future videos. So first of all, when it comes to shots, I think you need to have a mix of sort of handheld shots, stationary shots, up close shots, POV shots of something hopefully more interesting than just a table. You get the idea, just try and mix it up I guess to keep the to keep people's eyes interested. The other thing is having some sort of formula, some sort of story, some sort of style. You can almost tell who the YouTubers you're watching without you even seeing them when you're watching their content, you know. Do they start with a time lapse? Do they always have their title sequence coming at the beginning? Do they end with something specific? Do they do certain transitions? You know, have some sort of style because that's also going to help create when you're creating your videos in order to make it quicker because you don't have to think. For me, that's been one of the hardest things is that it occupies so much of my mind at the moment in order to make sure that I get the right shots and how do I, how's that gonna look in the edit? How do I wanna film that? That at the moment is taking up a lot of my brain space and I know that if I stick to some sort of formula, well I'm hoping, that's then gonna get a lot easier and it will just become natural. One of the biggest points actually that I should mention that I've learned so far is editing and editing speed. There is no substitute for doing the edit, you just, have to get it done. Some sort of plan in your mind when you're filming to know what you're trying to create in the edit so that when you do have just these raw clips in the edit you can you can quickly just put them in order and, and, and get it sorted. That's definitely something that I have uh, learned in order to get the edit done and quick. See how I transition into a handheld shot? No seriously, one thing that I am awful at which I notice is 
it's, it's the be all and end all to make sure that your videos get viewed as far as I can see is thumbnail. You have to, yeah. thumbnail is everything. I guess thumbnail is everything and I need to get better at it. I lack creativity sometimes and it's also a time thing. If I'm doing a video every single day, do I have the time to film it, edit it and then create a thumbnail? With my skill set, probably not. Once I figure out a quick and painless way to get a thumbnail sorted, I shall be sure to let you know. One hack I also have noticed is that as a YouTuber, you need to make a song and dance about everything. If you're gonna make a coffee, if you're gonna get into your car, everything requires some sort of cinematography and to make sure that people know where you are, set the scene, and what is going on. Listen, I appreciate this video is just for people who are looking to start doing YouTube. If you're not looking to start doing YouTube, probably just wait till tomorrow when there's gonna be a video that's back to normal of me vlogging. But anyway, now you know the research that I've done, some of the tricks that I've picked up that I'm gonna to try to implement to make much better videos. Any questions, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer. If I don't know the answer, I'll be sure to try and find out for you anyway. It's a good point to now mention if there's any content of mine that you like, that you wanna see more of, or anything that you just wanna see that I haven't done yet, drop me a comment, I will do my best to get around to it. But yeah, as you know, this is all new to me. I'm sharing it to hopefully help somebody out and maybe inspire someone to get started. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm completely out of my depth with this whole thing, but I'm confident I'm gonna give it a go and I will not stop until I nail it. I haven't quite decided what nailing it is yet. Maybe, we, maybe I never will nail it. I don't know, I'll see you tomorrow.